Hi everybody, I am here at PAX Unplugged and I am here at the Move 38 Blinks booth here and they're going to show us uh, one of the newer games from the Puzzle Wizard pack. Uh, this is Dispel. Dispel. Dispel and in a minute we're also going to check out one of their upcoming games that doesn't have a title yet. So let's check it out. Alright, so I'm so excited to share this game. It's one of my favorites. It's uh, a game designed by Scar Scott Cartier, and it's called Dispel. And so uh, I love the instructions on this game too. Actually, I'm just going to show you uh, the game itself. Uh, the great wizard Artemida has always been a practical, practical joker. This time she's gone too far. And so we've got this puzzle mess that we have to solve. So if we take a look at the pieces to start, uh, we've got these hexes, and I'm going to uh, tap one in the middle, and I'm actually going to start out a little bit easier for a first level. So uh, this is a level one dispel puzzle, and I double click to start, and my goal is to use these three hex tiles to uh, uh, dispel this pattern. This is uh, a code. And the way I do it is I can switch each of these pieces between red, green, and blue. And a combination of them is going to cancel out the colors on the left. And so I see a green here. Yellow is a combination of red and green. So I'm going to need red here, here, and here. So if I attach red like this, it will cancel out the red. And then I have green here and blue here. So it looks like I need this one to be green and this one to be blue. And you can see the blue will cancel out and then the green. And you'll notice if I have it rotated incorrectly, it's going to add. And when I have it completely solved, oh, wow. it lets me know. That's really cool. And so that was the easiest level. So let's try a more complex one. So I start in the middle. And there's also, you can make it more complex by adding more hexes. But you can also make it more complex by leveling up. Oh. And so this game actually has six different difficulty levels and then can also be adjusted based on how many blinks you have attached. So I'm going to try a level two with five blinks and we'll see how good I am. Ooh, okay. So I've got green here. I don't know if that's the final way to solve this, but I'll try it out. Cyan is blue and green. So, ooh, this is real tricky. This is green and red. So let me see if I do green here. Okay. Let's see. If I do... Oh. Try this. Okay, here we go. All right, this is promising looking. Here we go. All right, so now I need a green, and I can turn this one to green, and I can get all five of these. So I'll knock out those three, and then I've got two left. Boom. Nice, you did it. <laughs> well done. That's what we call him the Puzzle King. That's it, again, that one is Dispel, yes? That's Dispel. So Scott Cartier's Dispel, it's a part of our Puzzle Wizard pack. It's hours of fun. Um, that was a level two puzzle with five, uh, five hexes. So does it go all the way up to level six? It goes all the way up to level six. And uh, my partner, Jamie, she was like, she went from level one, she's like, let me see level six. And she finished it right in front of my eyes, like under five minutes. Wow. And uh, admittedly, she's way better at puzzles than I am. So, uh, but yeah, it's, it instantly became a household favorite.
Yeah. Very cool. Thank you very much. Cool, cool. So this is a game that Ryan's working on. Uh, it's brand new to the Blinks game system, and it's going to be uh, potentially part of the party pack. And so I'll hand it off. All right. So this is kind of like Whack-A-Mole, but it's going to be multiple people playing at once. Okay, so you're going to have a color that you're going to go up after each of you. And what you want to have is the least of that color on the board whenever the game ends. The game is going to be uh, 20 seconds long. So you're going to play as the red bow ties. And you're going to play as the green hazmat symbol. Okay? What about me? Uh, and you're going to play, you can play while holding your... I am multi-talented. All right. <laughs> you're going to play as the blue moon. Okay? So I'm going to uh, start this. It's going to go blank for three seconds, and then it's going to start popping up. You're going to want, anytime you see a blue moon, touch it. Anytime you see a red bow tie, touch it. And you, yeah, it's, same with the green one. Right? got in second place, <laughs> and green got in third. <laughs> Who was red? Me. Nice, well done. <laughs> I ran out of red ones, pressed for a minute there. That's a good thing. Do you have any questions? Okay. What is the game going to be called? Uh, I don't know yet. Do you guys have a working title on this one? It's just a, I came up with a good one last night. Did you? Or it was like a wham astro finger attack. As you can see, it's garbage. As you can see, it's I you said good one. What, what I said? Yeah, that didn't sound, like that good didn't sound too good, right? Super You had me at wham. We have it at MPW. MPW. Okay, we'll keep working on it. It's still yeah. prototyping the name. The title is. Uh, <laughs>